Today, Fortnite has released a new performance mode for the game, which allows you to get better frame rates on lower spec PCs. And along with that, even if you're on a higher PC, it may actually help you get a more consistent frame rate. So today, I'm going to be diving into what this update entails and everything to know about Fortnite performance mode. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so right off the bat before the video starts, I do want to say that this update is technically not coming out until tomorrow, December 15th, with the release of update 15.1 and Winterfest. So I will not be able to do a full in-depth breakdown of what this actually looks like in-game, but I can do a breakdown of what their blog post says and what we are going to be able to see with this new mode. So as you can see off the top here, it says beginning on December 15th, we are launching a new performance mode on all PCs that meet Fortnite's minimum specifications. Available in alpha performance mode will be selectable through the in-game settings menu and offers significant performance gains by trading out visual quality to lower memory usage and lighten the load on CPU and GPU. For players already on low scalability settings or less powerful hardware, this mode will allow the game to run better than ever before and maintain a smoother frame rate. So basically to break this down for you guys, say you are on a older PC or maybe a laptop with lower specs and it's not running Fortnite that well. This mode will be able to allow you to do a little bit less on the graphics settings and instead allow you to get consistent FPS throughout the game. This means that instead of getting peaks of FPS and then it dropping off completely, it'll stay at a nice consistent rate. Even though you may be sacrificing a bit of the quality on your screen, you will be able to hold a nice consistent FPS to be able to allow you to get through your game smoothly. Now, along with that, in the 15.1 update, they're going to be adding a new setting. As you can see here, here are all the steps to uninstall it or install it. They're adding a new setting to get rid of high resolution textures. Now, basically what this is, is it's a new custom pack that Fortnite is coming out with that allows you to have really high quality textures. And I think it may already be in the game or it may not. It's kind of ambiguous as to whether this is new or if it's something that they're just adding. But basically what this article says is that if if you have a ton of extra hard drive space and you're totally fine, then yes, you can just keep this installed. But if your computer is running a little bit low on memory space, you can actually uninstall the high resolution textures and bring the game down from 30 gigabytes all the way down to 17. So it's a massive storage saver and it allows you to do more with your hard drive. Along with that, just something to note here is that if your hard drive is completely filled up, then it will actually run at a slower rate. So if you want to get rid of some of your storage in your hard drive, and make it just a little bit more open, this could actually increase your performance even more. Now, for recommended hardware, this is basically just talking about what you should have as your thing. And even though a dedicated GPU is not required, it helps out the system balance your load. So just for example, for those of you that don't know that much about computer parts, if you are on a laptop, then you are most likely playing with an integrated graphics processor inside your CPU chip. But if you're playing on like a full desktop PC, then you almost definitely have an external graphics graphics card or technically an internal one but it's separate from the cpu you guys know what i mean now down here this actually shows the stats of what this is going to be looking like so down here it shows us an intel i5 8265u at 1.6 gigahertz now that may sound really weird to you guys but basically what this means it's a really bad cpu my cpu runs at 3 gigahertz 4 gigahertz this thing is running at 1.6 so it is processing things very very slowly next up there's 8 gigabytes of ram which i'm not sure if it's DDR3 or DDR4. I'm going to assume it's DDR4 just for the sake of this example, but this is actually a pretty good amount of RAM. I mean, a lot of people have this much RAM. I'm actually running 32 gigs of it just to help out with editing and stuff, but eight gigabytes, you can get away in most situations, even though 16 gigs is a little bit better. And then here is the big thing, the Intel UHD graphics 620. Basically what this means is that instead of having a dedicated graphics card, like an RTX 3070 or GTX 1080 or something, it's instead the integrated graphics in the CPU. CPU. So this is an example of a lower tier system. And before it enabled the performance mode, it was running at 24 FPS, but after it was running at a consistent 61 FPS. Now I'm not sure if this is where it peaked at or if this is what the consistent value is, but as we get into the actual update where the performance mode comes out, we will actually see real game results for this. So now we're getting to the part that all of you probably came for. Should you be using this if you have a higher quality PC, if you want better performance in competitive game modes? And the completely honest answer to that question is 
I don't know yet. Since we do not have this in the game, we can't really tell quite yet if this is only for people with lower system performance, which allows them to get better performance, or if it would work in competitive scenes to try and keep a level frame rate and keep everything going even during those really busy end zones. The reason I don't think this is going to help is because typically the lag you will see in those giant end zones, like a lot of you saw in the Frosty Frenzy tournament, is from the actual servers, because it's not like these streamers with completely decked out PCs like a 3080 Ti are getting lag because of their system, they're getting lag because the Fortnite servers are too slow. So most likely, no, you should not be using this if you have a really high quality machine, but if you got something really low quality, or I mean just something kind of outdated, then this is definitely a good addition for you, and something that you may want to consider to use in the 15.1 Fortnite update. So if you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to the channel as that would help me out a ton. Consider putting in code GUMMYYOSHI in your item shop. One Y in the middle there, remember, hashtag ad. But thank you for watching the video. Remember, go subscribe to all my Golden Gummies. Their channels will be linked in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one.